Hello, this is One Album Maker, and I'm gonna show you my computer's my computer update. So first, this is my um, main computer, which has the Intel Core 2 Dual E7500 processor. And I use it for my I don't know homework, my YouTube videos, and my everything you can everything everything you can imagine. And it has a 500 gigabyte serial ATA Hitachi hard drive, and you can see there's a blue 80 millimeter fan, and that's the number four on the fish local. And here's the back of the computer. I don't use Legacy PS2 anymore because that's just pathetic. So yeah, that there's the Cooler Master uh, Extreme Power Plus 550 watt. And then here's the I.O. traditional IDE, uh, DVD, RW, RW drive, I'm gonna upgrade to Blu-ray soon. And here's all my, here's my Silverstone, uh, three and, three and quarter inch, three and a half inch, SD, CF, card reader, USB, SATA, microphones, dog, dog good stuff, and there's uh, the cases, uh, USB ports and here's my external external USB drive, external USB drive again. Except this one I got from the notebook, my old notebook, which has IDE connections, and it's only 40 gigabyte high touch So, and this is my other computer, which has an Intel Pentium 3 700 megahertz processor, and it has a 256 megabyte uh, memory. And um, um, I broke one of the clips on on one of the dims, so I cannot use it. And this one has a 561 gigabyte IBM hard drive, which is pretty loud. And this is the 200 200 200 watt power supply and a Dell 90 millimeter millimeter fan. And uh, yeah, I use this computer for my weather weather stuff I upload my weather weather data to weather underground as you can see there is my weather station Davis Village Bowl 2 and there's my uh, network or whatever you call that thing I can't think of right now anyways and here's my uh, sonic sonic view screen and I'm gonna pull up weather, uh, virtual weather station for you. And as you can see, this is my data. I've been, it's been uploaded to Weather Underground. Pretty cool, snifty, and still legacy PS2 keyboard I'm using. And back here, you have, uh, yeah, you have your. I'm, I'm still using legacy PS2, and otherwise, I'm using PS USB mouse and. Uh, yeah, serial port, and I don't use audio on this thing because I hardly use audio. And here's the wood legacy wood USB port, USB mouse that that's brought home from ah Korea. Thank you very much. And here's my current motherboard that I'm working on right now. I need, I just need to have some new dims, and I need to put back the North the Northbridge heatsink. Well, first I need to apply thermal, thermal heat, thermal compound to to this Northbridge chipset and the Pentium 4 2.8 gigahertz processor with a one megabyte cache and a front side bus speed of 800 megahertz. And here is the Northbridge chipset heatsink and the multimeter I used to test my power power supply 400 watt. And here's all my other vacant fans that need to be used and here's my 20 gigabyte H HP hard drive that goes that goes with the HP D530 small form factor uh, computer but the motherboard's malfunctioning right now so I'm trying to fix things up anyway this hard drive needs to be replaced like I said before and here's an 80 millimeter fan that I pulled from the computer Connected to my 3 pin to 4 pin Molex connector, and here's my main, my uh, my secondary computer that actually works. It has an AMD Athlon 64 3200 plus 
running at 2 gigahertz with the Asus A K8 and motherboard. It's an ATX, ATX form factor and my Dell 17 inch flat screen TFT monitor and the HP USB keyboard and a Dell Dell USB mouse and here's my Sony Sony CDRW drive that needs to be worked on because apparently the the tray will not open if I press the button it will just go back and yes it's IDE it's all IDE my cash box my speaker let me go under here a sec and sorry folks if I'm making this difficult for you I'm trying to go into oh my bad so here's yes so here's my power supply the power supply actually is in the front this is the power connector my legacy PS2 not used, my parallel load port not used, audio, digital audio not used, stereo not used. I just use USB for mouse and keyboard and the Ethernet and uh, uh, and audio and then the DVI. Uh, the, what do you call that? A uh, Sapphire Sapphire 9200 SE with 128 megabyte DDR RAM and I'm actually using a DVI to VGA cable which you can see there so yeah this is my computer update folks and I got a lot to see that the, 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 uh, all the junk uh, SD RAM in there and this is the HP motherboard that I put in a different case but I think I'm gonna throw it away because it's just crap and here's all my other random junk under here. Let's see. You got your oh it's an it's a AMD Radeon 7500 with 64 megabyte of DDR RAM and this heatsink hardly ever works and so the so the die so the process GPU die gets really hot and otherwise it still works well but you know not, not, not as better as the 9200 series graphics card from AMD. So yeah, please stay tuned and I will have more updates for you in a later coming time. Thank you very much and see you later.